most projects have files and a lot of times those files need to also have feedback or approvals before we can finish them up. So in Workamajig, all projects have a place for files as well as a digital review tool. If we look in the files area, you can absolutely bring your files right into the system. As you can see, I have a file in my project. This file actually isn't in Workamajig. It's on my file server, but we can access it through Workamajig. We usually will connect your system right to your regular file storage solution so that upon project creation, the folder structure for your files will automatically be created on your file storage solution and they'll be connected to your Workamajig. That way, foldering becomes automated and standardized. All of your files will also then have a natural audit trail on when they're being updated and by whom. Now these files can also again be routed around for review and approval. When we route files around, not only can we do a digital routing, but we can track how many rounds it takes to get that routing accomplished. When we're routing things, we also have a separation between internal reviews and client-facing reviews or external reviews. So internally, we might have other people in our team or part of our firm that are part of the review process. And then we might be sending it to people outside of our team, like folks that are at the client's office, folks that might have requested this project, or anybody else who might be part of the review process. Any type of external reviewer or client reviewer does not need to have a login into your Workmajig to be part of the review process. We simply need a contact record with a valid email address so we can deliver the review tool to them with a notification about the review and when we'd like to have it provided to us. Different types of files can easily be routed through the tool for review. And there is quite a lengthy laundry list of different types of file types. For example, audio files, video files, URLs, Vimeos, YouTube videos, design files, a long list of other file types. When adding files in, you can either add them from the project or insert them at this point. Files also can have different routings because sometimes there's a different intention for that routing. So with the routing process, we can ask Workamajig if we want to send it around to everybody at once or if we'd like to send it to people in a specific order, in a much more linear style, one person after another. We can also let people know when we need to have their decisions back by. This is really important. If we're making commitments to due dates and milestones, and we need to uphold those commitments to this project, it's good to let people know when do we need to have their reviews back by, because otherwise it's gonna be very difficult for us to maintain those commitments. Now, we also can have the system send reminders. So not everybody will really get back to us in a timely fashion. And that's okay, it happens. But it doesn't have to be a burden on someone else to constantly be monitoring that. So while Workamajig will have a simple report that will always show you how many outstanding reviewers you have across all of your projects, it can also monitor those reviews and effectively send reminders to people who have not gotten back to us in the time frame that we've asked. Now, how often you would like your Workamajig to remind people to get back on that review for you is really about the sense of urgency that we have on that review. So you can definitely decide if it's something that's urgent to have it sent more often than not. Choosing who is part of your review is also, of course, very important. Again, we might have internal team members. We might have contacts that are just regular contacts in our system or specifically client contacts, people at our client's offices that are gonna be part of this review. Anyone we include in that review, when we submit it, will immediately get an email notification that simply states, for this project, you've got a file to review. We'd like your decision back by this date and time. And here's a token link so you can get started on it from wherever you are. Anyone who's in Workamajig, so our internal reviewers, not only will you receive that email notification in case you're out and about that you have a review that you should get done, it will also show up in your bell icon 
Just like everything else pending your review, this will be your safety net. It won't go anywhere until you get it done, so don't worry if it gets buried in your email or swept up in some spam filter, it'll still be here waiting for you until you complete it. Now, either way, we open up the review tool, whether it's through our Workamajig or through the tokened link in our email, it will provide us with the exact same review tool. And it is indeed the same tool that we would be passing on to external reviewers. Obviously, we can see my file, and we do have some different tools that we can use when reviewing files so that we can definitely get in deeper or really focus in on certain components. We can also send multiple files at once, and if that's the case, you could then toggle between different files to provide comments on each one independently. Commenting is also very simple. If I select the little plus sign to add a comment, I will be given a variety of annotation tools that I can utilize to assist me with commenting, making sure that I can point out more specifically what I'm commenting about. Any of those tools that we use will then be associated with the comment. Any comments that are left as we start bringing all these different pieces together, we'll be able to then start understanding who's doing their review, any decisions that they've made so far, and if you select any of the different annotations or comments, you're gonna see both the comment and its associated annotation, guiding us to what someone is really speaking about or commenting about so that we can be more in the know without having to constantly go back and forth or simply guess. What's great about the review tool in Workamajig is if you are sending media files, the media player will play. You can pause to comment on the frame when the person who's reviewing all the comments comes back to see what people have said. When they select your comment, it will jump right to the frame in the media. So they're not having to rewatch over and over again to try to find what you're trying to speak about. With a website, it would also be the live website that we can maneuver through and comment on, really giving us more options for reviews. Now, ultimately, when these comments come in, we might end up needing to communicate because sometimes the comments coming in may not give us enough information to make an informed decision on what we need to do. So you can certainly respond by selecting the little reply icon and that will reply right to that commenter so we can open up that communication but track it back to this review. And if we do decide on what our action might be to move forward, we can certainly edit that comment. The reason we suggest editing the comment is because typically the person who's monitoring this review process may not be the person who's actually going to make those changes. So if I'm gonna hand this off to somebody to fix by selecting fix this, Workamajig will provide me with the project schedule. So if I have this process built into my scheduling, it'll be there waiting for me. I can always add a new task on the fly. Either way, when this task gets assigned to someone, all of these comments that I said that we're going to fix will show up in their task box as a checklist of items to do on this file. So passing it on without having to retype, without having to create additional steps, and being able to easily monitor how many of those different items have been accomplished when someone simply checks them off their to-do list.